This is my hour. Hi there, and welcome to yet another episode of Mind Power. My name is Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com, and today I'm going to show you how to retrieve your passwords that you've stored in Internet Explorer. Uh, you can do this with Internet Explorer versions 4 through 9 at this point. I'm sure that the authors of this uh, third-party program will go on to support uh, other versions, but um, it's very simple. You don't even have to open up Internet Explorer or anything like that. Uh, you do have to download this program called IE Pass View Setup. And uh, there's a link in the description for when you uh, want to download this. I will tell you that uh, you should do this at your own risk. And uh, the reason why is your antivirus program is probably going to come up and alert you that this program is uh, raising red flags and will give you options to remove it or quarantine it or it'll just disable it automatically. Don't be surprised when your computer goes crazy with antivirus alerts when you run this program. And this is because any program that uses any kind of exploit to reveal passwords in Windows is really considered to be malware because there's a possibility that it could be sending it to some third-party website. Now, unlike my previous three password tutorials that I've shown here, uh, this this tutorial does require that you use a program outside of the operating system that's normally used. So I would caution you that, you know, these programs that show passwords always have a potential and a propensity for, uh, for harm. So um, with that being said, uh, I personally, my own opinion, uh, I've been promoting NERSOFT uh, their website for quite some time so I personally am gonna go ahead and show you how to use this program on my computer uh, so that being said do this at your own risk uh, don't try don't try this at home if you don't really feel confident uh, that this is the thing for you to do uh, really you could cause a lot of problems if you don't know what you're doing or if you are working with an untrustworthy website Anyway, this program is called IE Pass View, and you download it, and once you download it, you can just run the setup program, follow all the instructions to set the program up. I'm not going to go into that. I think you guys all know how to install programs, but once you have it installed, it should be inside your uh, start menu somewhere. And here I'm finding it, NERSOFT IE Pass View. I'm going to run the program and it immediately shows all of my uh, usernames and passwords. Now note, I do not store my passwords in Internet Explorer. I uh, never really have trusted Internet Explorer, but um, I don't put my passwords in there and uh, I don't think you should either. Uh, as you know, I'm not a big fan of storing your passwords in your browser. I do so on, a, on necessity at times, but uh, I really discourage people from storing their uh, passwords in their browsers because it is so easy to retrieve them. Now, if my passwords were here, they would show in this column under password. And this program is obviously working with my version of Internet Explorer. I'm using Internet Explorer 9. But uh, typically to store my passwords, I use the RoboForm add-on. Uh, the RoboForm desktop for Windows and for the Mac. And I also use RoboForm Everywhere, which is an add-on that you can add to any browser. And that way you can uh, you can uh, log in with you know Google Chrome or Firefox or Safari or Internet Explorer and uh, RoboForm uh, the RoboForm Everywhere system will work with that. Anyway, uh, you'll find links for all of this stuff, the IE Pass View and RoboForm. RoboForm is an online service that allows you to store your passwords encrypted, 128-bit encryption, uh, requires a username and password to log in, and then requires a passphrase to decrypt your passwords. And it's said that if you lose your password and you try to get it from them, they can't retrieve it for you because you don't have your passphrase. 
arrays. Uh, just be aware of that when you're using RoboForm. Make sure your passwords are stored in a secure place. And I feel that RoboForm is a pretty good place for me. Uh, it's worked for me for years and it saved me a lot of heartache. I have some friends also that are in the disabled community and they find that it's easier to use a program that manages their password and keeps them safe. And uh, also a benefit of using RoboForm is that uh, key loggers like malware that you get that would like track your keyboard. Uh, they don't get passwords from RoboForm because when with RoboForm you're not typing your password. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, I don't encourage anybody to store your passwords directly in your browser because it's so darn easy to get them out of there. Uh, the last three videos that I showed you were really easy and this one's still pretty easy. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can help me out by clicking those like and favorite buttons down below. And if you enjoy seeing tech tutorials, reviews, and more, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope you do. Also, if you have any questions or ideas to contribute, make sure you tell me about it in the comments below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on MindPower.